28-year-old Aurora Gabriel has been dealing with long-haul COVID symptoms for more than a year. I would work out for 20 minutes and be wiped out, feel like I wanted to like throw up or pass out. Early research shows for some long haulers, a COVID vaccine could ease symptoms. About 40% of the recipients are feeling better, whereas about 15% of the people are feeling worse. Yale immunobiology professor Akiko Iwasaki's team looked at vaccinated long haulers six and 12 weeks post vaccine, looking at immune responses in blood and saliva. It's possible that the vaccine is helping people because it's inducing robust immune response that can clear the viral reservoir. Doctors Newsy spoke with say they're still waiting for more proof before telling their patients that a COVID vaccine may lessen symptoms like shortness of breath or brain fog. Hi, how are you? Right now, all they can do is look at the symptoms and patterns in patients and try drugs typically used for other illnesses for that. The data is still very, very preliminary on what the impact of the vaccine is on long COVID symptoms. Anecdotally, when I see individuals who are having both experiences, I have maybe 30% of people who say they had no difference when they get the vaccine. Aurora Gabriel was one of those no difference folks. So far, the only thing helping her get better? Okay. Time. I think the so, worst of the worst already happened. So if I keep making, you know, little by little that progress, well, then I have, you know, I see like a good future. Like I see like, okay, my health is in a good state where it needs to be. Bottom line, doctors say the benefits of any COVID vaccine outweigh the risks right now. I do think that for people who have had uh, long COVID from their acute infection, I think getting the vaccine is still a good idea. Uh, protecting themselves from a repeat infection certainly is, uh, seems reasonable. Lindsay Thies, Newsy, Chicago.